When I was a teenager, I had an off-road motorcycle and someone put some wax on the seat as a joke. And when I went to pop a wheelie, I just about went off the motorcycle. Well, that's been quite a while ago. And since then, there have been some new products introduced on the market, including some ceramic spray products that claim to be far superior to regular wax. Well, let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. Before applying the products, I'll first wash the car with a powerful car wash designed to remove car wax and sealant. I'll also use a clay bar to remove contaminants such as brake dust from the paint. I went ahead and washed the car one more time to remove any traces of clay. I then used an iron remover to get rid of the contaminants below the surface that the clay bar couldn't reach. The water is not beating up at all, so the paint is completely unprotected and ready for each product to be applied. I went ahead and taped off eight sections for testing each of the products. Before applying the products, I want to get a baseline measure on the paint. Without a sealant or a protective coating, the paint swirls and scratches are exposed. While the paint appears to be very shiny, it's actually not all that smooth without a protective coating, which fills in the imperfections and makes the paint slick. I've lifted and supported the front hood so that it's very close to level. I'll be using a brand new sponge with five pounds of weight on top. This will give us a good idea on how well the coatings are filling in the swirl marks and scratches. The baseline number is 4.06 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of friction. The first product we'll be testing is a pure Brazilian carnauba wax and we're going to compare it against the ceramic spray coatings to see if they are actually any better. At a price of $14.96 is this mother's California gold. Ultimate wax system. Pure Brazilian carnauba wax. Ultimate shine and lasting protection. We're going to test that. Unsurpassed richness and depth. Made in USA. Shake well before and during use. Finish should be clean, dry, and cool. Wax one section at a time. Pour a small amount of product onto a soft, clean microfiber, terry cloth, or suitable applicator. Step two, working in two to three square foot sections, massage product thoroughly onto finish. Use sparingly. Step three, allow to dry to a haze. Step four, remove haze with a clean, dry microfiber or terry cloth towel. Turn towel frequently for best buffing action. At a price of only $14.50 for 16 ounces, the least expensive ceramic spray coating we'll be testing is made by Hybrid Solutions. Easy on, easy off, even in direct sunlight. Amazing results on paint, metal, plastic, and glass in minutes. Synthetic wax polymers increases depth of color, gloss, and shine. Super hydrophobic and SIO polymers, unique blend, delivers insane water beating and chemical resistant protection for up to 12 months. Hybrid Solutions is made by Turtle Wax and it is made in USA. For best results, do not over-apply high-active formula. Use two sprays per panel. Spread and wipe with a clean, folded microfiber cloth. Use a separate microfiber cloth to remove. For best performance, paint should be free of oxidation and surface contaminants. Use a damp microfiber cloth to remove spots and streaking. Can be used on wheels, exterior glass, and plastics. The second least expensive ceramic coating we'll be testing is made by Epic Elements and costs $18.91 for just 8 ounces. Protect superior ceramic coating. Waterless wash. Wax shine. Protect. Step 1. Spray onto a small area of surface and onto a damp microfiber cloth. Step 2. With the microfiber cloth, gently wipe the sprayed surface. Step 3. Before the product dries, switch to a clean, dry microfiber cloth and buff off any remaining haze. No information on a container as to where this product is made. At only $18.99 for 24 ounces, the third least expensive ceramic spray coating we'll be testing is made by Mothers. CMX Advanced Science. Coat like a pro, the affordable and easy way. SiO2 plus TiO2 Nano Quartz Technology. Deep glass-like ultra durable finish. Super hydrophobic protection. Simply spray on and wipe off. Made in USA. Step 1. Mist CMX ceramic spray coating onto a soft microfiber towel or suitable applicator. Step 2. Gently spread product evenly and thoroughly over a wet or dry surface until it disappears. Step 3. Allow a few minutes for coating to bond to surface. Step 4. With a separate clean microfiber towel, thoroughly buff the surface until perfectly clean and clear. At $19.68 for 32 ounces is this Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. It claims to offer advanced SiO2 technology. Ceramic made easy. Protection and durability beyond conventional wax. Simply spray on and rinse off and dry. Made in USA. The first step is to rinse the vehicle thoroughly of all wash soap. The second step is to spray Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax over all exterior surfaces. The final step is to use a clean, dry towel to wipe off the product. At a price of $19.99 for 16 ounces is this Epic CR2 Hydro, which is made by Malco. The choice of the pros. Made in USA. Ensure the vehicle surface is completely clean and dry. Shake the bottle well before using. Spray Epic CR2 onto one panel at a time. Distribute evenly using a clean, ultra-soft microfiber towel and buff to a smooth, shiny surface. For ideal bonding results, keep the vehicle dry for at least four hours after completion. 
at a price of $23.80 for just eight ounces is this Atom Spray Coating, Ceramic Glow Technology. The Atom Spray Coating is made in Thornton, Colorado. Instructions, spray Atom Ceramic Spray onto a microfiber towel. Step two, wipe the product onto the paint, allowing the surface to be fully covered. Step three, allow product to dry and cure for one to two minutes. The product will look like rainbow slicks on the surface. Buff to a high shine with a microfiber towel. Step five, allow four hours to cure before exposure to the elements such as rain, snow, sleet, or water exposure. At a price of $28.95 for just eight ounces, the most expensive product we'll be testing is this Ethos Pro Ceramic Wax. Handcrafted car care. Polishes, shines, and protects. Made in USA. Shake product well. Spread a thin, even layer of Ceramic Wax Pro onto the surface with a foam applicator or polisher. Let dry completely until light haze appears. Step three, buff wax residue to a shine with clean microfiber towels. For best results, apply out of direct sunlight and onto a cool panel. To make this a fair competition, I'm only applying one coating of each product. The car has remained inside the shop and out of the weather since I applied these products a couple of days ago. The paint without a wax coating required 4.06 pounds to get the sponge to slide. Let's see how well it performs with Mother's Carnuba Wax. And the Mother's Carnuba Wax made a huge difference, only 2.24 pounds to move the sponge. And the Hybrid Solutions moves into the lead with a very impressive 1.76 pound performance. Performance. Epic Elements Protect did a terrific job at only 1.9 pounds, which isn't quite enough to take the lead from Hybrid Solutions, but definitely better than Mother's Carnuba Wax. Mother's CMX Ceramic Spray Coating did a little bit better than Mother's Carnuba at 2.16 pounds, so Hybrid Solutions holds on to the lead. Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic did almost as well as Mother's CMX Ceramic at 2.2 pounds. Malco Epic CR2 Hydro didn't do quite as well as the competition at 2.3 pounds. Adam Ceramic didn't do quite as well as Malco Epic CR2 at at 2.46 pounds. And Ethos moves into the lead at 1.58 pounds. I'll go ahead and use a permanent marker to label each one of the test areas so we can easily identify the products we're testing. Wow, all the products are doing great, demonstrating excellent hydrophobic properties. Let's take a closer look at each brand. Mother's Carnuba Wax is doing a very good job. Wow, look at Hybrid Solutions. Definitely much better than the Carnuba Wax. Epic Elements did better than Mother's Carnuba, but not quite as good as Hybrid Solutions. Mother's CMX Ceramic is also doing a terrific job, but Hybrid Solutions seems to have a slight edge. McGuire's is doing a terrific job, almost as good as Mother's CMX Ceramic. Malco Epic CR2 is doing a terrific job, but Hybrid Solutions has the lead. Adams is definitely doing a better job than Malco Epic CR2, and it's really close to the first position. Ethos creates a really slick surface. The water seems to be forming a sheet and then running off very quickly. Since this tape isn't going to survive our next test, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Initial performance of all these products is impressive, but let's see how they do after we hit them with a powerful strip wash that is designed to remove car wax. I'll make two passes with the sponge across each product. Wow, the strip wash definitely took a toll on some of the products, so let's take a closer look. Mother's Carnuba Wax is no longer beating as well as it once did. Hybrid Solutions didn't seem hurt at all by the strip wash. Epic Elements is definitely better than Mother's Carnuba, but not beating as well as Hybrid Solutions. Mother's CMX Ceramic seems very close to the same as Hybrid Solutions. Very impressive. Meguiar's is still doing a terrific job, but not beating as well as Hybrid Solutions or Mother's CMX. Alco Epic CR2 Hydro seems about the same as the Meguiar's. Adams continues to impress and is definitely in the top three. The water continues to flow off of the Ethos in a large sheet. Let's hit these products with an iron remover next. According to the instructions, I'm supposed to allow it to soak for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the iron remover, then I'll back the car into the shop once again so we can take a closer look at each of the products. Wow, the iron remover definitely did some damage to some of these products. Mother's Carnuba Wax. The water just isn't beating as much as it was before, but it's still doing a pretty good job. Hybrid Solutions is still doing an amazing job and the water is still beating almost as much as before. Epic Elements is definitely doing a better job than Mother's Carnuba, but Hybrid Solutions definitely has the lead. Mother Ceramic seems to be doing almost as well as Epic Elements, but not as well as Hybrid Solutions. Meguiar seems to be doing about the same as the Mother Ceramic. The water definitely isn't beating as well with Malco Epic CR2 compared to Hybrid Solutions and Epic Elements. Wow, check out Adam's Ceramic. It's definitely very close between Hybrid Solutions and Adam's. Ethos is definitely performing in the top four. Will and Tire Cleaner will definitely test the durability of these products. Wow, the wheel and tire cleaner definitely had a huge impact on most of these products. On the left side of the screen is the mother's wax before applying the chemicals. The right side of the screen is after applying the wheel and tire cleaner. A lot more water is sheeting and a lot less beading with mother's carnival wax. 
Hybrid Solutions is still doing a great job and the water is beating more than it's sheeting. Epic Elements is still doing well, but the water is sheeting more than it's beating. Mother Ceramic is nearly used up and not performing as well as Hybrid Solutions or Epic Elements. Meguiar seems to be doing about the same as Mother's and seems to be nearly used up and the water is no longer beating or sheeting effectively. The water definitely isn't beating as well with Malco Epic CR2. Wow, look at Adams, definitely in the top two. Ethos is still doing a great job, but not as good as Adams or Hybrid Solutions. Pug and Tar Remover is very powerful and should remove most of these products. Since it contains a petroleum distillate, I'll have to use a strip wash to remove the oily Pug and Tar Remover residue. Wow, check out the difference between the brands. This is definitely a three-way race with Hybrid Solutions, Epic Elements, and Adams Ceramics all still doing very well. The rest of the brands are nearly used up. Check that out. Wow, very impressive performance. Epic Elements is also doing a very good job, doing almost as good as Hybrid Solutions. Adams is doing great, but Hybrid Solutions and Epic Elements seem to be doing slightly better. So the question remains, can any of these products stand up to an industrial degreaser? According to the instructions, do not use on exterior car surfaces. Let's do it anyway and see what happens. I'm also gonna use the strip wash to remove all traces of the degreaser. <laughs> Check that out. I'm really impressed with Hybrid Solutions. It's still holding up. Epic Elements is in the number two position and definitely Adams number three. So our baseline slickness test shows that it takes 4.06 pounds to make the spun slide on a completely unprotected surface. Let's see how all the brands perform after exposure to all these chemicals. 3.84 pounds from Mother's Carnibu Wax, so it's definitely used up. Hybrid Solutions, 2.68 pounds, very impressive. Epic Elements didn't do as well as Hybrid Solutions, but 3.3 pounds is still very good. Mother's Ceramic is used up at 3.88 pounds. Meguiar's is also used up at 3.92 pounds. Malco Epic CR2 is nearly used up at 3.84 pounds. At 3.66 pounds, Adams moved into the third position behind Hybrid Solutions and Epic Elements. Ethos is almost used up at 3.92 pounds. So for the friction test, it's Hybrid Solutions coming in first, Epic Elements protects second, and Adams UV Ceramic Spray third. I absolutely love it when I find a product that doesn't cost a lot and outperforms the more expensive competition. The Turtle Wax Hybrid Ceramic Spray Coating definitely came out on top, followed by Epic Elements, and finally Adams. All the videos in this channel are viewer suggested ideas. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.